Okay, um, basically I'm going to be showing you how to bait up dangles for your milk sharks, your spinner sharks. Um, the average size is between 2 to 4 kilos. You get a lot of them this time of the year up at Umtanzini, especially after the North Eastleys that we have. Um, very simply, what we're going to require for it is a knife, sharp knife, chocker hammer, a little bit of flotation. I'm just going to take one out now, maybe two out. And these we use in our uh, dangles. Some chocker. Okay, you can go and have a look previously at how to make our trace that I'm going to be baiting up. Basically, this is what it looks like. This is our circle look combo that we use for our spinner sharks and milkies. Okay, very simply, what we're going to do is grab a hair curler and we take the hair curler and we just put a bit of flotation in it because we want to actually get it to float a bit so we take it like that our kingfisher latex cotton and we just bind it up the reason we use these hair curlers is it holds the chocker bait on a lot better so we just bind it up. It's not a big hair curler that we're actually going to be using. I'm just going to cut this down slightly. Okay, that goes there. Okay. There we go. So basically what you have is that kind of a concept there. Okay, our top hook, and I'm just going to grab our top hook again. There's our trace top hook, will be with a hair curler. And we just take it through our Dacron so it actually sits on like that. We then do our small dangle, which will basically be a little ring with a little bit of flotation on it. I've already tied that one. It's not very big at all. And that basically just goes on there like that. To secure it in place, we just take a bit of our cotton, wrap it around. You can have silicon if you want over it, just to keep it in place so it doesn't come off the hook. But uh, tied on like this, it's more than fine. Okay, just do that, finish it off, and what we do, just tie it off, okay, so that's that one attached there, okay, a little bit of latex all over the place, but that never killed anybody before, and that's it there, okay. This one we are going to attach to our sinker like that for our long distance casting. So basically it's going to end up looking like that when we throw it. Okay, baiting up is very very simple. <coughs> Let's start with the bottom hook. Um, we look for the thickest part of our chocker, which is going to be over here. So I'm just going to cut a nice chunk out there we go we then take the thick side of it now remember that is the flesh side that there is the skin side so we're going to use our very thick part of our chocker hammer to actually break the skin what this is going to do is when we hit it is also push out the actual um, flesh from the chocker and we hit it at an angle to start getting it to go in all directions. Okay, so that is nice, thin, and very, very soft. Now how we bait it up is we just take it, I'm just going to stick a little piece through the actual hook, and we roll it around our dangle. Take our latex, that's our kingfish uh, latex. And 
and we just wrap it around a couple of times okay so I just want to make a little bit more make it a little bit thicker okay turn it upside down again and we're gonna hit it again okay I'm just making one big thick bait out of it okay right, there we go Okay, so that's basically the bottom bait. Very simple, very quick, very easy to do. Okay. The top bait. We're basically just going to take another piece, exactly the same as what we've just done. Here's the first piece. Mm, that'll be the second piece. Okay. Turn it upside down so your flesh is up. Flesh is up. And of course the, the thick side again. Okay. Very simply, all we're going to do is go through there. And we're just wrapping it around. Like that. Take our kingfish latex cotton again. And we're just wrapping it. Okay, first piece done. finished simple as that so the first one we're going to clip on there for our long distance casting and that's the length of the first trace and there is our second one remember the big R of the swivel goes to your leader Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the total length here. 